Now you just heard we're getting back to that breaking news. Officials, including the mayor of Chester, they just held a news conference in connection to the search for the six-year-old girl who fell into the Chester Creek yesterday. CBS News Philadelphia's Ross Dumite has been live there all morning long. He joins us now live with an update. Ross, good morning. Hey, good morning, Jan and Howard. Yeah, we just got official confirmation from the mayor of Chester as well as the fire commissioner that the search for six year old Lanasia Brooker has resumed here this morning. Uh, we're standing right next to Chester Creek where uh, this little girl, um, her aunt tells us that she slipped and uh, was swept away by some of the rushing waters. You know that we received a lot of rain last night. They say it was a really muddy area at this park where she was playing and she was swept away by the water into Chester Creek and has been missing since last night. They had to suspend the search overnight, although there was uh, members of the Coast Guard that were keeping a, a close eye on uh, the Chester Creek itself overnight just in case anything turned up. But so far, no sign of Lanasia Brooker just yet. But they are, have resumed the search now. So we have uh, Chester Fire as well as the Coast Guard. And uh, they said that they are extending their full um, the full services that they have at their disposal in, in terms of uh, resuming this search. You're looking right now at some video from last night's search. It was uh, really difficult conditions that they were facing. Um, again, this young girl slipped into the creek because it was really muddy. There was a lot of rain last night. So they sent out swift water rescue personnel and boats while other crews were flying drones with infrared thermal imaging technology. But again, met with really rough conditions. It was cold and dark. Visibility was limited. Nearly three inches of rain fell in Chester yesterday, and that helped the creek reach a moderate flood stage. There was also a lot of debris in the water as well. We spoke with that little girl's aunt who says the whole family sprang into action when they heard that Lanasia had been swept away by the water. Take a listen. Oh my God, this can't be real. I just ran out. I had a dress on, no, no nothing underneath. Just ran out and ran down the park. My nephew, he 19, he jumped in the water. My 12-year-old nephew jumped in the water with no consequences. They was taking their clothes off, running down the street to get in the water. We all was trying to, you know, hope for the best. We're still hoping for the best. Yeah, chaotic and scary moments. The family's still holding out hope. The mayor and the fire chief both said that they're hopeful that they will find Lanasia Brooker uh, alive and safe this morning. So the search is just getting underway now. We've seen uh, Chester Fire Department show up with multiple boats. They've got smaller boats that are going to be uh, going up and down Chester Creek. And then they've got larger boats stationed in the Delaware River where they're also going to be combing the water looking for this little girl. And um, we're here to you know take it all in and of course report back to you all on exactly what is or is not found and as soon as we get any new updates of course we'll let you know and we'll update you on air and online i'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now in addition to those boats we also heard the fire commissioner say they're using an underwater drone to search under the water uh, for this little girl as well that search resuming this morning as ross said we'll keep you up to date on air and online at cbsphiladelphia.com